Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today it's the return of the giant blue wolf dog. Ocean is a celebrity. Her story has travelled the globe from newspaper to newspaper, viral videos blowing up the internet and a rapidly growing Instagram following. Not only has this caused a blue wolf dog worldwide mania, but also created a lot of fake news, fake facts and exploitation of wolf dog puppies by unscrupulous breeders. So today we set all the facts right about what she is and who she is and debunk many of the fake news floating around. Also I will let you into a few secrets about her and what it's like living with her. You'll be shocked. Yes, you'll get everything. What it's like walking her, living with her, feeding her, meeting strangers for example. Plus I'll be unboxing my 1 million YouTube award alongside you and Ocean. So thank you to all our followers who have made this dream a reality. More on this later. You saw her as a baby, now meet adult Ocean. My blue wolf gone massive. Hello and welcome to my boudoir. And of course you've met Ocean here, but she's all grown up. And as you can see, she's the most beautiful, lovable blue wolf dog. She's absolutely wonderful and I love her with every single part of my heart. Well, Ocean has gone worldwide. Her reels have gone viral, but it's spurned a lot of fake news and unscrupulous breeders and lots of fake articles. So today, this episode is going to set everything straight and tell you everything about what is the truth about Ocean and what she's like to live with now in my house. Yes, you'll get to see all the little cheeky things that she does in my house and I will explain to you absolutely everything about her. But first, da -la 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 -la, we have something very exciting to do, don't we, Ocean? What are we gonna do today? I have got, I can't even believe I'm doing this. Look what's come through the post. Look, oh my God. Yes, and it's all thanks to you, my viewers. It is the one million plaque from YouTube. This has been an absolute dream of mine. And I can't say thank you enough. Um, I won't go into too many details, but I was in a very, very, very bad marriage. It was abusive, coercive, controlling. And I created YouTube in order to give myself a way out, a way of escaping. And also, as you know, with sort of old fashioned terrestrial TV, it's very hard to get stuff onto television. Um, so YouTube is an absolute godsend. It's given me a platform, hasn't it dogs? to be able to express myself and make the programs that I want to make and also have the money to become my own independent person and escape from an incredibly horrible marriage. So let's start the opening. Got the huskies here. What do you think, Cal? Cal, you're gonna come up? Come on, up you come, up, up, up. Come on, up, up, up. You're gonna help me open it. I think um, Ocean thinks it's a little bit scary, so we're going to do it with the Huskies. What do you think, Cal? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God. One million subscribers. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I would ever get this. I have worked so hard for this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone that has helped me achieve this you have no idea how much this means to me oh, thank you so much also to my awesome camera lady ellen who does all the filming and the editing i would not have been able to have done it without her either <sighs> thank you so much anyway on with the show <laughs> first to recap what exactly is a blue wolf dog Ocean is a solid blue wolf dog. Now that doesn't mean literally the colour blue, like this, but it's a term used in the dog world to describe a particular smoky blue shade of grey. 
You find the colour blue used in many other animal breeds such as blue cats, blue rabbits, blue French bulldogs like these cuties. Solid blue means the colour goes from tip to base with no white undercoat. A blue wolf dog is a normal wolf dog in every way. It's simply a dog with both recent grey wolf DNA and dog DNA mixed together, as well as colour blue DNA on both parents' side. The colour smoky blue was originally taken from blue German shepherds that were bred into wolf dogs a while back. So what content exactly is Ocean as we got her DNA results in? Ocean is a low-content wolf dog and has around 30% wolf DNA and 70% dog. As you can see from her Embark results, she has 28.1% grey wolf, 27.6% German Shepherd, 25.4% Alaskan Malamute, 10.2% Siberian Husky and 8.7% Samoyed. This will vary on each blue wolf dog as every wolf dog mix is different. The wolf DNA will give her a wild temperament and spirit and along with it, a lot of undesirable nervousness that we must address. The German Shepherd will give her trainability and soul, Alaskan Malamute a laid-back demeanour and good size, Siberian Husky sweetness but crazy independent streak, and Samoid her floofy coat and kind heart awe. All dogs used generally look similar to wolves in order to keep a wolfy appearance. How big will she get? So, how big is she really? Of course, there is a skill in filming where I'd place her in front of me, as she is the star of the reel. But many claim that she is photoshopped. She is not. It's just perspective. She is, however, a very large girl and will end up the size of a female wolf. At the moment, she is adolescent and full of fluff, which means she is lighter than when she will be about three years old. So right now, she's around 30 kilograms, which is about 66 pounds but she will probably get to around 45 kilograms in a couple of years, which is 99 pounds. Her brothers will be larger and heavier. Imagine your stringy teenage son, that's what she is right now, all length, legs and no muscle. In two years, she will have filled out and become her true adult self. Is she a Blue Bay Shepherd? Well, no, she is not, and this is why. Oh God, do we have to talk about this again? Now, the last episode, we explained that she is not a Blue Bay Shepherd, but for some reason, a TikToker made a video stealing all of Ocean's reels, claiming her to be a Blue Bay. It went viral, spawning more fake videos on top of that. It even got to the national newspapers, saying she was a Blue Bay and using my own photos without permission, claiming I was Vicky Spencer, the founder of the Blue Bay which shows you can't believe everything in the newspapers. And I'm sure Vicky had a chuckle too. Now, why is Ocean not a Blue Bay? I'll tell you why. I flew to Florida four years ago to film Vicky Spencer and Blue Bay Shepherds, and I am the only channel to have exclusively met her and interviewed her about the Blue Bays. A Blue Bay is an extremely low content blue wolf dog bred exclusively by Vicky Spencer. The look of a Blue Bay is actually very shepherdy and in my own opinion, looks very similar to a Blue German Shepherd. Many have shorter coats than Ocean and a more shepherd head shape, longer ears, softer dog muzzle. Vicky told me that her desire was to end up with around 10 to 20% wolf content as the higher the wolf content, the harder it is to home the puppies due to fear phases and nervousness. Now, apart from Vicky, blue wolf dogs are bred all over the world and have been around for many, many years. These are simply called blue wolf dogs. And this is basically what Ocean is. She comes from Canada and her DNA is from French lines. In fact, I think there are more blue wolf dogs in France than the USA currently. I preferred the look of the wolfier blue wolf dogs than the blue bays. So I chose a blue wolf dog over a blue bay shepherd. But they're not to say that Blue Bay Shepherds aren't cool. They certainly are, and Vicky has done a great job with them. What it's like living with this giant blue wolf dog. This is her favourite spot in my house, up high. She may only be around 30% wolf, but her mannerisms are incredibly wolfy. Wolf dogs love climbing high like cats and walking across countertops and looking down on your other dogs. That's Ocean. Her dexterity is amazing and her soft-footed skill at climbing means she can tackle any surface. 
unlike some dogs that buckle legged on the table at the vets. See how effortlessly she catwalks this bar, David Yarrow style, in a UK pub called the Royal Oak in Hawkehurst. Another thing she does is jump. Yes, this is her jumping to see me right in the face. I have covered this in other videos about wolves and wolf dogs. They demand face on face contact. And if you don't bend down, they will come to you. Here's Winston, another wolf dog, greeting me this way. And also Jet and Sully doing a great job of giving me a bloody nose. Now, as large and energetic dog breed owners, isn't it irritating to keep coming back to this? Or perhaps you find it hard to transport large dogs who like to chew your car up. So with that in mind, I'd just like to share with you my new favourite dog pen from Impact Dog Crates, made with space grade aluminium and 99% recycled material. They claim it's the only dog crate you'll ever need, as your dog won't be able to destroy it and it comes with a lifetime guarantee, as they are so certain. Ocean and Kumi have a collapsible version as I travel everywhere all the time and need to transport both dogs and crate. You can even use it to fly your pets as it's certified for this. My crate is huge at 48 inches long and I chose grey but it comes in six other cool colours and sizes. The crates come with military grey handles for carrying, brilliant ventilation and an easy to carry lightweight frame, which shows here, as it'd be a miracle for me to carry any other brand of crate of this huge size. You can find purchase options for this crate via my special link and code, where you get 15% off selected products. I will also write this link in the description in this video. Is she a guard dog? The short and fast answer is no. Wolf dogs are highly sensitive and fear any human not inside their pack. This can result in flight tendencies, which rear their head in public places, and also when strangers enter a house. Ocean is on leash all of the time in unfenced areas as she suddenly goes to bolt and escape when the pressure is too much for her. She has pulled me over as sometimes the panic attacks catch me unawares. In the house, she will retreat to the rear of the room if a stranger comes in or very cautiously approaches them. The stranger then needs to sit with me for a long time to make her feel at ease until she chooses to meet them for herself. So how do I work on this nervousness? Constant socialization, so she can get through these fear phases and eventually be as confident as possible. If someone wants to pet her, I instruct them to become small, crouch down and extend a fist. It must be on Ocean's terms at all times, and no one must ever go to grab her, as this will certainly frighten her and make her avoid that person. So no, she is not a guard dog. But my Czechoslovakian wolf dogs are, like my Kumi here, as they have 75% German Shepherd working army dog content, which makes them more guarding. Kumi is a force to be reckoned and very different to Ocean. Is she trainable? Well, she certainly is highly trainable, but you must remember that disobedience is not stupidity. Every dog breed and the wolf aside were developed to perform a particular job. Now, a wild wolf does not need to be subservient to humans. His DNA tells him that he must survive day to day from starvation and death. And to do this, he must protect himself and his pack. This means running away from danger, fighting animals that threaten his pack's safety and acting solely independently with free thought. This includes humans. The wolf sees us tall, front-eyed facing beings as predators who hurt and kill them, so they run away from us. Equally, they adore their own pack, so a wolf dog becomes a mix of these two qualities, fear of strange humans for safety and a love of their own pack, which will include their own humans. They are free thinking, so if self-preservation is more important to them than meeting a stranger, they will protect themselves. So this means training is a challenge. When you see Ocean performing in her reels, I am often isolated and alone. As if humans are close by, she will not do what I would like her to do, and instead focuses on potentially escaping. Now I've taught her to jump up high, and I have rewarded her for this, but that's because it suits me and my life. 
I work on TV and I want her to feel that she's doing something good by climbing up onto things. Other wolf dog owners may not like this, so they will actively discourage this behavior. She trains well with food, but in a similar manner to a husky or a Malamute, so only does what I want when she feels like it. So don't expect miracles. What exactly does a wolf dog eat? Now, Ocean is only fed raw. We use Paleo Ridge, a UK-based raw dog food company, and it includes minced meat and also a DIY range of crunchy bones, which makes the food fun and interesting. I would advise to only feed a raw diet if you can, as a wolf dog is part wolf and a wolf is a carnivore primarily. Yes, they forage too, but I still wouldn't classify them as omnivores as they have carnivore teeth and a carnivore digestive system. You could cause diseases, bloat and cancers by substituting meat for intensively cooked kibble or diarrhea inducing soft tinned food. What is she like when she meets strange dogs? She adores dogs and is so lovely and friendly, but please remember that that is just her own personality. She is a very submissive and sweet wolf dog. Every breed of dog has its good and bad examples. Some wolf dogs who are dominant or unsocialized can bite dogs that they consider a threat, especially badly behaved small toy breeds. Ocean, on the other hand, was heavily socialized by me and she adores meeting strange dogs. Plus her parents are so sweet and have beautiful temperaments. Ocean loves dogs more than humans and will try and play with everyone she meets. If you want a happy sweet wolf dog, then you must put your work in and make sure they don't have a bad experience with a strange dog for at least three years or their fear might change to aggression. Plus only get one from a reputable breeder who breeds for health and temperament a one who has raised them inside with them and the puppies have constant love and socialization. I would not recommend buying from outdoor cage raised wolf dogs or over the internet, as there are some blue wolf dog scammers out there right now using our footage to sell puppies, which don't exist. So be careful. Does she have cross eyes? Mm -mm -mm. I'm seriously going to punch the next person who says this as it simply isn't true. Ocean has one half colored iris. It's half green and half copper. The darker copper is on the inside creating the illusion of a boss eye. But wolves have closely set eyes anyway as they are top predators. Their eyes are certainly closer looking than a dog's. Is she an AI creation? Well guys, unless you're completely stupid, why would this be an AI creation? Look, I'm touching her now, touching her fur, touching her face. This is not an AI dog. This is my pet. She is real. She is real. One amusing story that circulated was that Ocean wasn't real and was in fact an AI. Well, firstly, no, she isn't, as I simply do not have the money, time or skills to do this. I wouldn't even know how to AI her. She's just a very unique looking dog and I film her in slow motion as she wriggles around too much. Is she destructive? No, she's not. But that's only because I'm an amazing dog mama. Yes, I'm showing off now, but it's true. Every wolf dog has the disposition to be destructive. It's how you train and channel their energy. Ocean has stacks of chew toys to amuse her and I've never done the dumb thing of giving her boxes or shoes to chew which means that they get into the habit of eating human belongings. I've done this with my huskies too, and it's worked with them also. I never leave Ocean unsupervised for long periods of time so that she has the boredom to destroy something. I'm just good at my job, and you must be too, unless you want some severe house destruction. How is wolf dog puppy training? I won't lie, it sucked. I've had others describe wolf dog toilet training as lengthy, and it was. Ocean held on being totally clean until about 10 months old, having frequent accidents. She is also pretty submissive, so a combination of peeing when she was nervous, combined with an absolute disregard to holding herself indoors, meant toilet training took ages. But we got there in the end. Same goes for other primitive dog breeds. Do they like water and swimming? Wolf dogs generally love water. All the ones I know love swimming and playing in the water. Ocean adores rivers and lakes. We are helping her to be less afraid of waves in the sea. But as for rivers, she goes bonkers, like this time in the Cotswolds. What's her prey drive like? Huge. She's part wolf and part sled dog. 
Of course it's going to be huge, but that's what you sign up for when you get one. If you have cats, get the cat first and raise the wolf dog afterwards. Rabbits, birds and hamsters are potential food sources, so don't risk it. Also, if you choose to exercise them off leash, be prepared for deaf ear when a deer or a pheasant is spotted. Your wolf dog may become quickly unresponsive when the wild beckons to them and they run off on a hunt which could get you into trouble if it involves livestock. Okay, just to finish on a more serious note, there have been several fake websites rear their ugly heads during this blue wolf dog mania, including a YouTube channel selling blue bay shepherds claiming to be Vicky Spencer Blue Bay Shepherds. Vicky has confirmed that she does not have a YouTube channel, so please be aware not to sign up to any puppies you see on the internet, as it is a serious con. They have used my image on the sites, as well as blue wolf dogs belonging to people I know. If in doubt, send me a message and I'll let you know. We are in the process of removing the scams. What sort of home should you have and what sort of owner should you be if you want a dog like this? And finally, finally, should you have a wolf dog like Ocean? Well, if you have a similar lifestyle and attitude to me, then that's fine. But these dogs cannot be kept in a flat by someone who works nine hours a day and give zero training and socialization. These people are responsible for hundreds of surrendered wolf dogs to kennels every year, many being euthanized. I do not actively promote breeders through my pages or oceans due to the crazy blue wolf dog mania, and I do not breed or ever wish to, as I don't believe that every owner is a kind and good one. I simply could not let those innocent dogs be taken out into the world to a potentially cruel home. If you missed Ocean's episode one when she was a puppy, then click here now. And if you enjoyed this episode, then be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner. And if you want to watch part one of Ocean's life when she was a little puppy, I've put a little link in the information bar and you can click on one of the videos at the end of the episode. And be sure to tune in every week where I'll be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, walls, animal rescue, and conservation. So it's bye from me, and it's bye from my big blue wolf dog.